All right, so I've got some of the base finished, the main footprint, and maximum diameter is four feet, so that's what that tape measure is. So that'll allow me to have this much space outside the actual tower. And the towers are going to be attached to all these corners, and in the middle they share that center. But I don't really like where the inverted helix lift is, because the loading track will only be able to go to about here. So that's not a very large distance for all the balls to be um, loaded up. So I think what I might try doing is instead of putting it right here, is to put it right in the corner back there. Because that, the corners the way they are, that's almost exactly four feet. So from that end to that end, it's basically four feet. So that means this lift would be in the very back, and I think it would work pretty well back there. So I'm going to reposition it, and then I'll come back. All right, so I like this a lot better with putting the putting the uh, lift in the far corner, and it fits. So that's good. And so what I'll have to do is the loading track is going to make a 90 right here, so it's going to come out that way. And there's going to be a wheel right here to help with um, ball distribution, and I'll I'll explain that later. So the plan is to have kind of a track about a red rod wide going all the way around this thing and that's going to act as the floor since I don't have enough white connectors. And that floor will come all the way to that loading track. So then it'll be nice because the balls won't be able to clog anywhere. And I was going to have the loading track go in the middle but I think it'll be a lot easier because the middle is going to have a lot of tower supports and stuff. So, after this, I guess I'll have to extend the base and get started on the towers. Alright, after a bit of an update, I have some of the base finished. Um, this will probably be most of it. So I have a red rod tall kind of tower going all the way around here, supporting it. And this is the idea of the towers where I'll have these diagonals going across and they'll also be going to the helix lift here. So I guess the next step will be to finish off the towers. We're getting all the towers built and as you can see Jared's over there working on some towers. And this is our progress so far. So this is mainly an experimental tower design that I've never really used before but it's actually much stronger than when I've used Red Rod Towers. Yeah. When I sh shake the top, I can just, I can tell it'll be a lot stronger. So that's good. The only hard part is trying to attach it to this because there's not very many good attachments just because of the connectors, but it's fine. So next will be to finish that section. After a couple days, I got the towers finished. So a good thing about these towers is they make it a lot more sturdy than just doing red road towers. And the, the main thing that makes this lift sturdy is doing beams like this across. Cause these. Um, these gray rods are in tension, so this part barely shakes at all. So that's really nice. On this top part, there's going to be a pass separator. Hopefully it'll be a circular pass separator coming out of the exit track. And originally, I had a tower in the middle here, but I decided to take it out because it really doesn't make much of a difference. I might add it back in case I need to support an element from it, but for now it's pretty good the way it is. And I'm also really happy with the base because I didn't have to make a solid blue rod base, but the ball machine is stronger than past ball machines that had a solid base, so I've learned a lot just from making this different tower design about how to make a stronger structure, and it looks pretty cool too. Next, I'm going to have to work down here and get an entrance track built up 
I'm gonna have a wheel that um, lets the balls go in to this lift one at a time instead of all at once. That way they'll be distributed better and you won't have like 10 balls going up all at once with no balls in the machine. Which would kind of suck because it does take a while to go up the entire 6 feet. So, and I probably won't include this corner tower at all like I said before because these towers are pretty strong without it. So let me take a step back. Yeah. So I'll be back in a minute, or a second actually, and I'll have that entrance track over there built. I've rotated the ball machine so that I can work on the little wheel at the bottom and finished it. So let me just get over here. So it pulls a 90 like I said and it goes into the helix lift. Another angle. I'll turn it on too. It goes pretty slow, but all the gears are finished. And I'll test it out. A better gear. So with that speed, it lets a ball out of the top about every six seconds, and I think that's pretty good. There's space just a little more than a red rod apart in the lift. So yeah, that's about it. I have a video of the gears underneath. Kind of hard to see, but oh well. So after this, I guess I'll be starting on the base. So like I said, it's going to be a red rod wide track type thing. It circles all the way around the ball machine. And it'll probably end up about here like that and then end right there. One good thing about this tower design is that I didn't even use a full bag of these blue connectors and I have another bag over there 